Hey there, friends. So after we just read the book, The Pout Pout Fish, it inspired me to make this paper plate fish bowl. So here are the things you're going to need. You're going to need some green seaweed and some fish. There they are. And I have three fish, so I have three eyeballs. And I have a paintbrush because I'm going to paint some glue, some sequins and beads. Mm -hmm. And I also have crayons, or you can have markers or colored pencils. And because I want to paint my plate, I am going to be using paint. So whatever you want to color with or paint with, we're going to do blue because water is blue. I'm spreading it on there and I'm going to spread the paint around with my paintbrush. And if you decide not to use paint, like if you don't have paint at home, that's okay. You can use crayons, markers, or colored pencil. But whatever material you decide to use, make sure the color is blue. Now that my plate is fully painted blue, I'm going to set it aside and let that dry. And while that is drying, I'm going to color my fish. And once again, you can use whatever you would like to color your fish, markers, crayons, paint, any of those. And you can also pick whatever color you would like. Let's see what colors I decide to use. Now, what color is this that I decided to use first? That's right, orange. I am making one of my fish orange. Now this color is a tricky color because it's not quite pink and it's not quite purple. It's a little bit of both and we're going to call it raspberry. And my last colored fish is going to be, that's right, blue. And don't forget, you can color your fish whatever color you would like. Now I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just gonna put glue on the whole entire fish because I don't know exactly where I want to put the eyeball. So I'm gonna glue the whole fish, all three of them, and I'm gonna put the eyeballs on. Just stick them on there and press, press, press so they don't fall off.
now it's been a few minutes so my plate is dry because I colored all my fish and while I was doing it my plate was drying so I'm gonna take my glue and put it on the plate and then I'm going to stick my fish on there there you go see so take it and I stick it right on there and press 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 And now I'm going to take more glue and I'm going to stick more glue on top of my fish because I'm going to put some little rhinestones and scales and shiny things on my fish. And I'm going to take my first little bag and I'm going to sprinkle some on anywhere I'd like right onto my fish. Some of them might have all the same colors, some of them might not. I haven't decided yet. And you don't have to use the same things that I do either. So everybody's fish is going to look different. No worries. That's what we like. Next, I'm going to just make one line of glue and then I'm going to stick my seaweed on there. And it doesn't matter what size seaweed, you could take a long one, a short one, a medium one, and you can stick them in whatever direction you would like. So I decided to use my finger just then to spread the glue because I wasn't exactly sure how close or how far apart I wanted my seaweed. And now I'm actually putting the seaweed on top of some of the fish because then it looks like he's hiding and peeking out from behind it. 
Now I'm just spreading the glue evenly to make sure my seaweed doesn't come popping up. Next, take more glue and put it just on the bottom of your fish bowl. Now I'm gonna take some more beads and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all across the bottom. Sprinkle it so that there's no spaces left because now it looks like the little rocks and sand at the bottom of the fish bowl. Now would you look at that? We made our very own fish bowl with Pout Pout Fish and a shark and some of his other friends that he had on the Playscape. I'm glad you guys did this art project with me. And like I always say, I'll be back with more videos.